can shout. Me o de le pari wo, moti yo. Na 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 na. When I show oh, oh for your party yo, oh, them must jo 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 jo. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Yetunde. I'm feeling myself. I'm out in the woods. I'm out in the woods to bring you today's video. Today's video is not planned. I don't know. I've just been having some unplanned videos that I just feel like putting in place of the planned ones. Can you see me? I hope you can see me. Let me check this certain. So as I was saying, I don't know if this, this is looking blurry. It's looking blurry. So as I was saying, I've been having a lot of videos that <laughs> I'm in the woods. There's bear birds. Can you guys hear the birds? I don't know if you can hear the birds. There's a lot of birds. And you know, I'm sure the foxes are underground. Are they underground? No shot, no me. Anyway, I just had this video on my mind to do for a while, for the last couple of weeks especially, and so I had to put this in place of what I wanted to actually upload today. I wanted to let you girls know, I'm talking to the ladies right now, I have a lot of ladies that watch this channel, I check my analytics, I know I have some guys too and you're always welcome, you can take from this what you may. But I wanted to say specifically to the ladies that I need you ladies to never settle. Ooh, there's a dog here. Oh, shannon. This person's carrying their dog. I beg they should not put the dog down. A big dog lady. This is the problem of filming outside. This is not made up, guys. You can't make it up. Okay, she's putting the leash on her dog. It's a little girl. I hope she can hold the dog. Hi. I feel like so this girls watch me. And <laughs> I want us ladies to never settle. Settle in anything. In anything. Never, never settle. Never settle because you are over 30, over 35, you're heading to 40 and thinking that you just need to get married and you wanna manage that guy because he seems nice never settle because you want more for your life but you're thinking that oh do you deserve it and maybe you haven't struggled enough to get to that more and you feel like you need to struggle or you've been taught even it's been implanted in you that you need to struggle to before you can deserve a good life never settle in areas of friendship where if a friend is so is not supportive of you there's a bit of you feel a little bit of a power struggle never settle with bad friends i need us to never settle today is easter sunday and jesus died for me i believe that he rose on the third day easter sunday represents resurrection for me resurrection day is like it's a reminder that the things that lay dormant in my life will rise again. As Jesus rose from the dead, things that seem dead in my life will rise again. And I wanted to just remind anyone out there actually, oops, who's calling me? Sorry, I'm gonna have to call them back. 
because this is important. Um, sorry, guys. Anyway, Resurrection Day for me is a representation of whatever in my life has, that has remained dormant, that has remained dead, or that I have been afraid to allow to spring forth, is for it to be revived again. <laughs> Hallelujah! <laughs> I'm preaching. I'm preaching. <laughs> I'm preaching to somebody. So, I want us to be encouraged with this video to never settle for, never manage. Like, you know, in, in Nigeria, if you like, um, one of the things that I'm just managing, let me just, let me just manage this. Let me just, Marco, manage. Let me just, managing. Are you a manager? Don't manage, ladies. Don't manage. Don't allow anyone's fear. Project, don't allow anyone project their fear on you. Don't allow the, anyone to project what they think your life should be on you. Just never settle. This video came about because I was um, watching Fermi talk to her dad and he was praying over her. And I said to myself that, wow, you know, God, you really blessed me. My husband isn't perfect. He's a good man. He's a great man. And, and I'm really blessed to have him as my husband. But his heart for God is what um, I'm just, I'm so in awe of God for. Because I wanted a man that could pray over me, that could pray over our children. That was the reason why I couldn't settle for someone that I knew that couldn't. He's not a pastor, but he loves God. A man that loves God is evident in their actions. It's evident in how they treat you. It's evident in how they treat your family. It's evident in how they treat their family. Never settle for a man that seems like a Christian. I'm talking to Christian ladies right now. Many young women that are single and one of the criteria that they want is a Christian man. A man that loves God, a man that's God or oh, God fearing, a man that, you know, embodies what they whatever they deem to be a Christian or a Christ follower, whatever. And they have compromised because they because of that thing they think because of that thing they think he has. Like for example, he can read scripture, he can pray, but he is not kind. He can, read, he can read scripture, he can pray, but he talks to you anyhow. He can read scripture, and he, but he can pray, but you don't feel loved by him, or you don't feel like he is caring enough, or you don't feel like he is, um, what's that word? He, oh my God, there's a dog, there's dogs, there's dogs, guys. There's dogs, what am I gonna do? There's dogs and there's no leash. Please help me tell these people that they should be putting their dogs on a leash. Anyway, okay. He's <laughs> my life. So he's a Christian and yet, you know, you don't see him give. Even if he doesn't have a lot, he doesn't have to have money, plenty of money to give. Given of time, given of, of um, advice, given of um, just giving, just being given. You, I think you and I both know what it looks like when someone is generous and but because you feel oh maybe he's a christian um you're fine so there's a dog there and i'm just like would well, let this dog not come here and the owner's not even watching it I'm like what's that i'm not gonna film here again because clearly there's too many dogs around here anyway should have known better than to film in the woods should have known better if you want a man that loves god that is that he shows oh my god there's a dog Okay, I just got scared. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no problem, I got scared. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's <laughs> Oh my god. Oh guys, you just saw me at my scared. There's another dog. There's just too many dogs. This is dog central. No shine on me, mom. I'm leaving. I'm leaving here now, but I can't leave right now because there's another dog and it's okay, so I'm going to leave leash. <sighs> when I see how Emmanuel is with our daughter, it, it gives me peace and it reminds me that God listened to my prayer 
and it reminds me that God really loves me. He, it reminds me how much God loves me, so much so that he, he listens to my prayer and he answers them better than I could have ever wanted. And therefore, uh, I'm blessed, I'm highly favoured. Never settle on what you want, on the life that you desire, never settle. On the, on the people that you want to be on this life journey with you, the person, your main person, whether it's your husband or your wife, um, whether it's your friends, even some family members, don't settle on and don't compromise yourself. To be humble is not to diminish who you are. To be humble is not to be less. It is just to love others more. It's, that's it. But never settle because you think you should. Never settle because of your age. I got married like just before I turned 30. That was my desire, to get married just before I turned 30. And I did. And, and I know there are some women out there because the pressure is real. The pressure is so real to be like over 30 and unmarried and sometimes you just feel like let me just the guy seems like a nice guy let me just don't because as you're saying that to yourself you're saying that God can't do it you're saying that oh, he's, he doesn't hear my prayer you're saying that whatever however he's blessed you before is that's how he's done it before but he can't do it with this I just wanted to encourage you girls don't settle. If you want a loving man that will love you and that loves God, that loves God, yeah, you can. You can get that and much, much more. If you, and, a, and a handsome man like that as well. Don't settle. Don't compromise on your morals because you think this is what you should just manage. Don't compromise your morals. Even if your parents are telling you that, my dear, you just need to get married. You need to get out of this house find a way to get out of that house right on your own but don't fall into the hands of someone that's not going to love you like christ loves the church because ain't nobody if he ain't ready to die for you he ain't loving you like christ loves the church let me tell you that for free jesus died for us right that's love that's a sacrificial love you need someone that's going to love you and give you sacrificial love that will sacrifice themselves whether it doesn't mean necessarily dying but they would give anything to make sure that you are happy, that you are comfortable, that you are filled with joy and that you are glowing and that you are growing and that because when you shine, they shine. And if they don't believe that, then that's not the person for you. You should never be competing with your partner. If, they, if you're shining, they're shining and vice versa. When I heard the story of Miss Osinachi, it was heartbreaking. And it's more heartbreaking because she is one of many that lived like a double life. Like she was this phenomenal woman that was being diminished in private. She was being, that she was being stripped away. And I don't want that for anyone, anyone, whether it be my sisters or it be my brothers. Never settle for someone that doesn't love you like Christ loved the church. Let's use, you know, I'm not trying to be all spirit cooker here, guys. But I need you to understand something. If Jesus died for you because he wanted you to enter heaven and he wanted you to feel this unimaginable love, please... Let's try and find some. Let's 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 be with someone that, even though you cannot cut, you cannot. Nobody can ever touch the surface of Jesus's love, but at least they can try. And you uh, trust me, you know that love. That love is something that can't hide itself. Nobody is perfect. Again, no one is perfect, but still, that love that they desire to just want to be good. Like, they, they want you to be good. They want you to be happy. They want you to shine. That is the love that I want you guys to shine your eyes, shine your eyes for. And I want you to never settle. 
And if you want to go for that job, if you want to get into tech, you want to be a woman in tech or a man in tech, and if you want to travel, you can do it. Don't settle and feel like, oh my God, I can't because I'm here, I'm stuck in this place, I can't do this, I can't move, I don't have this. <sighs> pray and trust God. Pray and then start being, pray and start. Pray and start. But through prayer is where you get direction, where you get strategies, where you get creativity, where you get all these ideas that you need, inspiration, where you get led to the right people. Pray, then start. If you meet a guy and you feel like he's, mm, something's a bit off, whatever, pray about it. God will show you. He will pray about it. And if he shows you, my sister, pick your slippers and be going. If anyone, whether you be a woman, whether you be a man, if anyone raises their hand to you, even then, they didn't, even if they don't allow it to fall down, and you're not, you better remove yourself from that person. It's zero tolerance. Don't accept anything that diminishes who you are. If you're still single and you're still and you're dating someone, anything that that person has shown that diminishes you, that makes you feel small, that makes you, that diminishes you as a person, that endangers you, please, please remove yourself from that situation. If you're living in fear, if you're living in pain, please remove yourself from that situation because your life is, is for living, you have purpose. God, Jesus died for you to, so that you can live a, an abundant life, a life full of joy, a life full of peace. A life full of love. And if you're not receiving that, please remove yourself from that situation. There is nothing that God wants more than for us to be filled with his love and filled with his joy and to live a life free and of purpose. So I don't want to bang on. I don't want to keep banging on, guys. But I just wanted you to just never settle.